Well, for most of this summer, Arizona utility companies like APS were prevented from shutting off your power if you were behind on your bill. Uh, but that all changed last week when that moratorium was lifted. Well, now thousands of Arizonans, they're even further behind. If that's you, three on your sides, Gary Harper says there is help. A lot of Arizonans are in worse shape now because they had a balance to begin with and then they went the entire summer without paying any of their electric bills. If that's you, what do you do now? Like many Arizonans, Tamika Havis depends on utilities, particularly electricity for her apartment. Dishwasher and definitely the stove. But Tamika was concerned that the appliances she relies on would be cut off after falling behind on her APS bill. My first bill, I was behind almost two months because that was two months worth of um, bill the first time, which was 257. Tamika is on a fixed income and fell behind $257 on her APS bill following a number of personal issues, including a leg amputation and losing her job. But Tamika isn't alone. She's just one out of 88,000 APS customers who are behind with their electric bill. When you add up all those delinquent accounts, APS says it's owed more than $30 million. You know that I was just, you know, struggling. I'm a single mom. But Tamika isn't the only one struggling to pay her electric bill. That's because state regulators banned electric companies from disconnecting delinquent accounts between June and October 15th, the hottest part of the year. But now that the ban has been lifted, it's time for those customers to pay up. We have been seeing individuals back in, um, in the early summer. Lydia Martinez is with Chicanos Por La Casa, one of many different Arizona organizations where citizens can turn for help with their delinquent APS bills. All you have to do, she tells three on your side, is to get qualified. We use our standard federal poverty level guidelines, so the same type of income qualifications if somebody were to be receiving access, um, SNAP assistance, so it's the same standard grid. The organization says it will pay up to $400 per delinquent account a year. For Tamika, she says she couldn't have done it without the help. Yeah, exactly. A big lifesaver, a big lifesaver. Now, if you need help getting your electric bill paid off, we have a ton of information on our website, azfamily.com, also our mobile app, AZ Family. And if you're an APS customer, APS says they can put you on a payment plan to get you caught up. I'm Gary Harper, three on your side.